night side project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. Welcome to the Nightside Project. I'm Ethan Millard here with Alex Keery. Thanks so much for picking up this episode. We are committed to helping you finish your commute happy. And to do that, we have an awesome Zen headline coming up. It is ripped from that weird Kylie Jenner Pepsi commercial. You remember how everyone made fun yeah. of the musicians at the protest? Because they weren't really playing music. They were just like... Right, looking non, cool. Non-plugged in electric guitar. There was uh, a guy with a tambourine. There was a girl with a banjo, but no one was really playing. I'm going to bring you the moment that played out in real life. No, somebody got in the real, real life. Somebody got the real sound. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I show you. I'm it. gonna show you how that played out in real life. <laughs> and it's uh, no, no, it's not the video. Oh, it's not the video. Real life. Music. I'll I'll show it to you. It'll be good. I'll show it's not, it to you. You you set it up to being cooler than it probably is going to be. Uh, but Continue. first, but first, <laughs> he's famous. They call him Uncle Fat. What? No, he's not a North Korean dictionary or dictionary <laughs> dictator. <laughs> uh, he's not a North Korean dictator. <laughs> isn't that what a nickname that uh, the Fresh Prince had for Uncle Phil? <laughs> Uncle Fat. <laughs> I feel like it would. I feel like. Uh, it would. Let me just oh, get. By the let way, me just may get he rest. I'm sorry. May he rest. Let me just get this, <laughs> this done. Is off of the rails, let bro. Let me just get this out here. They call him Uncle Fat. He's not a North Korean dictator. He is the subject of our topic today. There's no two ways about it. If we didn't eat them first, they would kill us. Join us this evening for Nightside's Animal Kingdom. In Thailand, authorities have captured a monkey that locals call Uncle Fat. Here's the deal. He's been gorging himself on food handed to him by tourists. Not only that, but he is the leader of his little band of monkeys. And he actually has them out in the area swiping food. To bring back Swiping to him. human food to bring back to him. He's, a Uncle, he's a King Louis. He is, he is the godfather. Bring me that donut from the streetcar. Authorities have captured him and imprisoned him. They say it's for his own good. What do you mean? Oh, my. Ethan, when I was like, what do you mean imprisoned him? And then you showed the picture that we have up right now. He is a morbidly obese monkey. Uh, Poor guy. This monkey is about three times what the maximum weight should be for his species. So they they brought him in, and they have put him on a lean protein diet, lots of veggies, yeah. and they're going to try and bring his weight down. Monkey sta- so a, can- a, mon- a monkey stomach staple. He'll be he'll be good in no time. So look at that thing. Look at that huge stomach. That now, is a gut. He's got a few other problems. I'm going to scroll through they the also photos. Got, here. They also got him from a weird side, though. Well, oh boy. there's no good What's side for here? this monkey. So well, here's one where he's kind of turning across his belly. But it also looks like that moment where somebody is about to murder him. Like that's or the he's face about you to, have no, he's when you a, see your murdered. Uh, you, when you see your murderer, he's about to murder someone. I'm afraid of these kind of monkeys, man. It's, not uh, that one. He's not moving. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly what kind of monkey he is. The, Pablo, he is a, uh, the Pablo Escobar macaque. A oh, it just says wild monkey. No, it's a it's a it says at the bottom of that picture a macaque. Oh, all right. So there you go. I just I didn't read you that. Start, I love how you start like scrolling. I'm over your, in the article trying Googling, to find the details. You're googling; it's right in front of your face. All right, all right. Let me let me show you though. Let me show you though. Here's a, here's another side. So he's got his bananas there. That's a lot of bananas. And too. look at this look miserable how sad face. He is. You know why? Because he can't. He's not eating the. Let me ask you this: the donuts does, and soda. Let me ask you this: does that does that animal has he ever eaten a pint of Chunky Monkey? Because that would be the most amazing. I think the least they can do is let (laughs) him try it. (laughs) Let him try it. Here's your brand, bro. I feel bad because on the one hand, I mean, we don't we don't see this. We don't have animals in the street that act like this. But in other countries, there are street monkeys and, you know, where they're just all over the place. And this happens, I bet, a lot more often than we than we know because I animals in any right, yeah. animals in any place. Think about how many fat dogs have you encountered? There's always a dog somewhere. Somebody's been feeding it way too much from the table. The table scraps. Now it's kind of the point where just the the owner has a a drip line of 
heavy cream that just like if the ice cream melts, it goes straight into the dogs' those uh, poor, veins. Those poor dogs. You see them walking down the street. My parents, <laughs> my parents had the fattest dachshund. He's already got. He already had stubby legs. Uh huh. So it took it took overeating seven meals before his belly was dragging. Well, I'll tell you, uh, this guy has that same problem. Let me show you this next photo. Uncle Fat has a similar problem. Look at that. Mm. Because monkeys, these kind of monkeys, they crawl around on all fours. So his huge gut drags on the ground. Now they said that there's a there are a couple of That's major a, problems. That looks with like this. a tumor. Well, they're actually oh, sorry. I love comparing how you gave me the, it. I love how you gave me the hand gesture, like uh, you're ruining my story here. No, I'm no, I'm letting you know. Tumor. I'm letting you know. They're actually comparing it to a benign tumor because what's happened is is he's formed this kind of mass of fat, but it's just in this one area. So they say it's kind of like a a large. It's formed what's similar to a large benign tumor. Are you suggesting monkey liposuction? Mm. That could be the next move. Well, it seems like they could. Maybe they could just come in here and. Oh, good right job. Here, right you should get here. the Sharpie out and draw on where the incisions should <laughs> be made. Do, 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 do. Like on, what was that HBO <laughs> TV show? Uh, nip, and, nip and Tuck. Well, Nip Tuck. <laughs> little lines. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, my monkey plastic surgery gone bad. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch it. Look, Discovery's looking for new stuff all the time. I think that this is their next new venture, and I'm frankly, Ethan, I'm surprised we haven't seen it yet. With all the content that's being com- that's being created on all of the different platforms by all the different stations, right? My animal plastic surgery gone bad is not a show. I'm surprised, and the fact is, it's probably already in development. Are we that? Are we all in agreement? I'd watch it. Josh knows that he's like, look, that's probably that's probably a th- I call that a Thursday what? night when everyone goes. Ugh. Yeah, but did you see that rhino that had that weird, uh, that had that weird uh, facial uh, <laughs> that, uh, facial reconstruction? Or that rhino? That rhino that got in a car accident and had to <laughs> well, had or whatever, to rebuild his jaw, or you know, just like a, you know, maybe just like a a, a chest lift on like a on like a, a bulldog <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, we I've got take... one more. No, 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 no. We do not have to take a break here. Please. Please we do not have to take a break here. We need to incise this benign gut no, for, of the show well, right now. <laughs> we will hear. We will hear. Now, uh, in a recent episode, we talked about cats, and we talked about Kathy, Kathy Park, who likes cats, and got on Alex's case a little bit for some some stuff that he said that was disparaging towards cats and no. cat owners, and, and <laughs> stop throwing, he's has... throwing everything. Cats, cat owners. <laughs> He also said a which thing or has, two about people who for which have he has yet to re, for which he has yet to really apologize. But Kathy did appreciate uh, our story just a couple of days ago. She said it made her laugh out loud at work, and that was embarrassing. But in gratitude, or she says gratitude, she's passed this along to us. Now she passed along this story from a cat website called Love Meow, but they actually got it originally from Reddit. I want you to check this out, Alex. This is actually a Utah, a recent graduate from Utah, 21-year-old young man who loves his cat. The cat name is Charlie. He decided he was going to go and get his photo taken with his cat. He had a group on for some photos at a department store. I got professional they, they pictures of my that? cat. They still do that? But they ended up looking like engagement photos. Oh. Now, he's got a good sense of humor about it, which is why he what, shared what, what this all on that, Reddit. What did he think they were going to do? Well, I don't know that he really had a plan other than, hey, I've got this group there, on. I went in there for some pictures with me and my cat, but they made it look weird. <laughs> no. You went in there and got you and your cat with pictures, and then it looks weird because that's your problem. It's a good-looking cat, I'll say. Yeah, it's not a bad it's cat. It's a good-looking cat. It's one of those uh, with the big yellow eyes. And like the dark gray fur, like that uh, slate gray. He's right, though. This is an engagement photo. Yeah, because the cat has its left in palm fact, on his chest. In fact, I used to do a lot of, of photos like this. Not with cats, but I will let me critique this photo as an engagement photo. It's actually an excellent engagement photo. I like the, the paws up here on the shoulder. Yeah, because you can see the ring. Right there. Uh, the pop on the shoulder is perfect. It's the cat's left hand, which is where the engagement ring right, would go. Right, right. So that's uh, very well both, staged. Both faces are squared up and engaged with the camera. Uh, there's one thing that I would change on this, it's though. It's stupid hair, right? It's, no, it's this hand right here. Oh. Now, this is a this is a classic mistake, but what you don't want is you never want a disembodied hand. So you And this happens a lot when you're photographing couples, especially the man's hand will kind of come around. You'll see it 
on the woman's hip. Yeah, it could be mistaken, or something like could that. Be mistaken for a passerby hand. No one mis- no <laughs> on one your mistakes wife, it. On your engagement no picture. one will mistake it for anything. But the correct thing to do is just have him slip his hand back into the small yeah. of her back so that it's not <laughs> visible as a disembodied hand. Well, another way to fix it is to Photoshop you uh, with a real person. <laughs> so I would I would have had him here just move his hand down and out so that uh, it's not just hanging out there. Uh, but otherwise, very effective photo. Look at this. Look at this one though. Isn't that a good looking cat? Well, see, I told you it's that. Right bi- it's the big yellow eyes, and it's that dark slate gray kind of looking. That's the cat that I like. Here's one with the cat sitting on his lap. He's the one who had to go into Target and get these done. All right. Look, he loves his cat. Right. You know, who cares? Let's He's a local, too. Maybe he listens to the podcast. Let's take the break here. We don't have his name, but if, if this is it you. didn't say his name? Drop us an email. Right. No, because they, they cribbed this all from Reddit. Well, they, I love, so all I they love, had was the username. I've, I love the guy who had the guts to go get it. All right. Uh, we're going to take the break here. When we come back, we do have a Zen headline. I promise. Okay? All right. The Nightside Project. By the way, I went on TV yesterday to pump our uh, half million... Columbia yeah. pesos. I'll tell you how I had goals and then how they all went out the window as soon as the TV uh, interview started. My, <laughs> Did you choke? No, my desire to not mention drugs <laughs> 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 went right out the window. We'll play that for you also. Stick around. <laughs> 